everyone, welcome to August Beauty Favourites. I've got some really lovely things to show you this month, so hope that you enjoy. Now firstly I have to apologise for the mess behind me, I'm having my spare bedroom redecorated and also my beauty room so I've moved everything from out of there into here, into my bedroom. So it's a little bit messy, um, so if you can see kind of odds and ends behind me that is why. The second thing is that um, I've done a makeup tutorial of the look that I'm wearing and it's just like a quick tutorial with a voiceover but that will be going up next Friday. So if you've got any questions about the makeup, I'm going to talk about a couple of the products because they're in my favourites, but if you've got any other questions about the makeup, if you could wait until next week when I put up that video, that would be excellent. So all of the product details will be in the information box below. Also, I know that I've said this before, but if you don't read my blog, then um, you should do because I do a beauty review every day or some kind of fashion post or random funny weird thing so there's something that goes up every day and um, quite a lot of the time products that are shown in these videos will have a more in-depth review on the website so I shall put the link up here and down below and all that kind of stuff. And now I have waffled on for so long that I've actually bored myself. So let's get started with the products. First one is this little beauty. This is the face and blush powder from Clarins and um, it's just like an all over amazing, not illuminating, like a pale bronzy enhancing powder and I just absolutely adore it. They do one pretty much every autumn winter season I think and um, it always has kind of different pattern on it but it's usually kind of the same shades and I just find it really handy. Now essential.com have got this for £24 and it's normally £31 so I'll put the link to them below. I don't know why they do it cheaper than everyone else but it's good that they do. The second thing that I'm also wearing Love this, A, because of the outside of the packaging, which I think is superb, but B, because of the shades inside, which are just my kinds of shades. Really lovely, kind of bronzy neutrals, and then you've got this slate grey, bluey, kind of metallic, silvery colour specific. Um, and I've got those on as well and I think that those shades are just completely up my street. So I really like that, but the packaging is just funky. I kind of wish that they would do the packaging all the time really. On to something for the hair. I haven't done hair in a while um, and I think this is brilliant or I did think that it was brilliant because ta-da I've now finished it. It's quite strongly scented. In fact it's really strongly scented but um, it just leaves my hair really soft, really shiny and I don't want to say glowing. Glowing's the wrong word but vibrant. Vibrant might be a good word for it. Uh, I need my roots doing but the ends of my hair just I think that this really kind of brings out the colour. I don't think it's got any colour in it, it's argan oil infused and all that business um, and it seems to have sparkly bits but I don't really see how those sparkly bits can can go into your hair because you're rinsing it off but it does make it really really soft and I leave it on for about five minutes and rinse it out so that is a definite repurchase that one, it's by Schwarzkopf and it's called BC Bonacure Hair Therapy Oil Miracle. Skincare and something that I am incredibly excited about. Wren have bought out a new range, it's called Rosa Centifolia and it's got loads of different types of cleansers. Now this is the uh, Micellar 3 in 1 Cleansing Water which is very good but as you know I love a cleansing balm and this is the number one purity cleansing balm. I don't think that this is identical to the one that purity balm that they already have. I think it's slightly different. So these are brilliant and they're launching straight into Marks and Spencers or they have already launched. I'll put a link to that below but also Marks and Spencers are doing this huge big beauty event so all of their beauty brands are doing some kind of gift with purchase or freebie if you spend a certain amount or you buy a certain product and Ren's one is incredible. So if you buy two Ren products you get this not just a bag though, you get loads and loads of samples inside and they're really good sized samples. You get um, the Rosotto body lotion and shower gel which is like a cult beauty product and then you get the Rosa Centifolia cleansing gel which I haven't tried yet but I will and you get the Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask which is amazing and you get the Frankincense Revitalizing Night Cream which is also lovely. So six really big kind of 
travel luxury sample sizes in that, which I think is a really good gift with purchase. Next thing is this tiny little balm from Kiko, and this is the Kiko Night Balm for the lips. And I think that it's quite difficult sometimes to find a good lip balm to use overnight that doesn't feel sticky or greasy, but also that lasts the whole way through the night so that your lips feel really soft in the morning. And this does the trick for me. It's been specially formulated to use overnight, so I think that makes a difference. Smells of Parma Violets. Don't know whether many of you or any of you will remember Parma Violets. If you do, put it in the comments below because I used to love Parma Violets, but you can't really get them anymore, I don't think. Lots of people thought they were hideous and tasted of soap, but I like them. Oh, another thing that I forgot to put in the makeup tutorial for next week, which is this coal pencil, waterproof coal liner from Smashbox. And um, I thought I'd show you this one because it's flesh coloured, it's called Bear, and it's really good for doing the waterline. And I think it's much better to use a flesh coloured pencil than it is to use a white coloured pencil. And the brilliant thing about this is, apart from it not being too expensive, when you screw the lid back on, it resharpens the tip. It's like a gel kind of liner consistency. So it's always completely sharp and I hadn't seen that before and I think it's really, really clever. So um, I'm actually wearing the grey version in my waterline now, although that was a couple of hours ago now. Final thing, and I do always try to do 10 things, so I'm not sure what I've got to now. Maybe I'll do one more after this. This is the Gentle Daily Exfoliant from Alpha H. I've used this for a long time, but recently I've been using it more again because um, I just felt like I wanted to give my skin a really good polish up and a deep clean. Now this is Gentle Daily Exfoliant, but it's not any kind of scrub. It's like a powder that you mix with water and it becomes almost like a clay consistency. And I really like it because it's very simple, uh, it's non-abrasive, and I leave it on for a couple of minutes so it's like a daily clay mask. I do feel it can be a little drying on the skin, but that's probably because it's clay and it's drawing out all the oil and the impurities. It's basically a very simple formula of clay and papaya enzymes, like exfoliating enzymes. And you can mix it with your cleanser or um, use it on its own and it lasts for ages. And if you've got kind of teen or problem skin and you want something a little bit extra in the morning just to get your skin very smooth and radiant, then this is a nice one. Just make sure that you put the moisture back into your skin and you moisturize properly after it. But yes, really good rediscovery that and one. And then finally, uh, Room Spray. This is from Neome and they do the most amazing candles, but some people don't like candles, health and safety and all that. Um, and this is, I suppose, more instant because you just spritz it around the room. This is the Complete Bliss Moroccan Blush Rose one, Organic Room Mist. And whereas some room mists are a bit like chemicals in a can, this one's actual essential oils and you only really need one or two spritzes of it to scent the whole room, so I think it's really quite good value for money. I mean, it's luxury, so it's a bit of a treat, but um, it does last a long time. So that is it. Hope you enjoyed that. We're nearly done. If you want to see my most recent videos or indeed the outtakes from this one, then carry on watching and there'll be links to click through to those. Otherwise, give this a big thumbs up if you would. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Neighbor has got a duck in the garden.